Alright guys, what is going on? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the 4-3 under odd formation. And this is going to be the intro to this defense. Um, in other words, the base defense, the base setups that we have for this. And this defense is very good. Now it is predominantly a shotgun or pistol defense. It will come in versus under center. However, it tends to come outside. Um, and not the B gap. So, is a good blitz overall. It works against shotgun or single back. Um, however, the pressure comes from different areas. So, with that being said, we will move right along into it. Side to this formation is the fact that it is only in two defensive books. It is going to be in the multiple D defensive book as well as the Oakland Raiders defensive book. So for all of you guys that are playing Draft Champions, this may not be the best start for you guys. Um, however, if you are a league player, a ranked player, a mutt player, um, this is pretty much going to become one of your favorite sets. And the reason is because not only is the pressure very simple, it's also very difficult to block. So base defense... Here we go. So you can come out in any play in the entire formation. The plays that I recommend are going to be cover 2, cover 4, cover 6, and edge sting. Um, you can use uh, the cover 2 man. However, that is more of a coverage defense if you wanted to run that. So we'll come out, we'll come out and cover 4 first. Show you guys how this will look versus a shotgun formation. The setup is that you're going to crash the defensive line down. You're going to blitz the outside linebacker that is on the right and move him out until his angle changes. You'll see that it goes from a straight down angle to out to the angled blitz. And that's going to be what causes the offensive tackle to react to him. Uh, for whatever reason, the guard and the center are going to double team this defensive tackle. And that's going to allow, um, in this case, Mac, the defensive end, to come screaming directly up that B gap. Um, so you can make the adjustments however you want, uh, but the thing that you need to do to get this blitz to come in is you need to stand about five to seven yards off the line of scrimmage and right in front of this right guard. Um, you don't want to be too far to the outside or too far to the inside. You don't want to be up close too far. Um, if you are familiar with the 3-4 defense last year, it's pretty much the same situation. You want to stand in this 5-7 to seven yard range. You don't want to really, you know, run up to the line of scrimmage, then run back. All of that is going to mess with the blitz. Um, so here you go. We'll show you how it looks. Hold left trigger. Scream and B-gap directly at the quarterback. Now, the beautiful thing about this blitz is if your opponent is doing something simply like blocking a running back. If the running back is not on the same side of the field, say they're on the left side right here, it's not going to pick the splits up. You see that it comes in just as fast. There's nobody to slow him down. Um, so you can see via the instant replay, a blocked running back on the opposite side of the blitz is simply just not going to cut it. They're not going to have time to really hit any open player. And that's because we can adjust our coverage. So that was a cover four. We'll go audible to the cover two. It's going to be the exact same thing. You're crashing the defensive line down, moving the linebacker on the right outward, standing five to seven yards back with this middle linebacker holding left trigger, and you have B gap. So not only can you mix up your coverages with this, simply blocking a running back is not going to stop this consistently. So that is the reason that we feel this is a fantastic base defense. Um, and we'll get into the more complicated and more advanced setups to these in just a few moments. But I wanted to show one more thing. So as you're running this, obviously blitzing the um, five guys is good. However, you don't need this defensive end that is on the left. You can put him into whatever zone you want. You put him into a spy. It doesn't really matter what you do with the guy. Um, so it still becomes a four-man rush. You're blitzing the three defensive linemen. Um, 
that are on the D line, and then you're blitzing the outside linebacker that is on the right. That's it. And you'll see B get pressure, and it comes screaming.